Hello Taurus, my beautiful bulls. How are you? It is B. Welcome to Psychic Sounds by B and I am B. This is your tarot reading for September of 2020. For those of you interested, simply go to the description box below and look at what I have to offer. Memberships, extended readings, uh, basically consultations you can order from me. Also donation button if you wish. Please give me that big old thumbs up and continue to subscribe. If you have been unsubscribed, please subscribe again. We're about to get started here with the beautiful partnerships. Partnerships. There is, there's a partnership coming up here, Taurus. This could be a partnership in business or you're going to partner with someone who is going to make you stronger, is going to make you more efficient, you two are going to be together in this. This is going to be, you know, um, a reciprocal type of business relationship. Now, I'm hearing business. I'm not hearing love. But for some of you, it could be love. It may be with a Leo person. Remember, Taurus is, this is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. September of 2020. What a great way to start, Taurus. I love that. Let's see what we've got going on here, Taurus. Please do go to that description box. You'll learn a lot there about how I read and what is happening with you. I am in a different location, Taurus, and that is because I am renovating. My new room is being done and I will be moving down to that new room as soon as it is finished. So I do apologize for the echo. Here it is again. I, I kid you not. Oh, wow. Taurus, what's going on with you? Good partnerships coming, Taurus. All right. Let's go ahead and put the energy into the decks you see before you. I am going to pull six cards from the Rider Waite, and I am going to pull one clarifier from the Witch's Tarot. Now, the reason why I'm doing that is because sometimes the Witch's Tarot clarifiers would bring in a completely different reading. Other times it simply clarifies, I want you to be able to be exposed to what I, I do for my members so that you can take into consideration whether or not you want to get a membership to get more information. So go ahead and put your energy in the deck. Cutting the deck, Taurus. All right, Taurus, we have the first card, the second card, the third card, the fourth card, the fifth card, and the sixth card. Okay, Taurus, let's see what we've got here. I'm excited for you for some reason, Taurus. I think somebody's impressed you for some reason. Okay, are we ready? <laughs> the suspense is killing me. <laughs> All right, okay, well, we do have the Eight of Swords, but this is in the past position. So in some cases, a Taurus is you feel like you're trapped in a situation that you can't get out of, but you can get out of that situation. I feel that this partnership is releasing you from this trap situation, mentally, mentally trapped as well. You are kind of, it, it's not as much as you're going, some people might be going through a depression or you may people know people going through depression or they feel like they're trapped. But for you, Taurus, I feel like this is almost what am I doing wrong? What's happening here? Why am I not able to move forward? Why do I feel like, I, like I'm trapped? But as I look around me, I'm not really trapped, okay? Now, that could be what's coming up here. This is the eight energy, the eighth house. This is scorpionic energy. So this is interesting. Is a Scorpio going to jail? <laughs> I'm just asking, Taurus, Wow, I feel like a Scorpio might be going to jail or might be getting into legal trouble, Taurus. I don't know where that came from, but that is coming up here, Taurus. So the eighth house is the Scorpionic house. It's all about joint finances, death, rebirth, intimacy, um, feeling like, you know, you, there's revenge, obsession, you know, possession, all of that type of uh, energy. Sex, drugs, rock and roll, plutonic energy, Taurus. And this might be with that 
uh, Pluto going uh, retrograde in Capricorn, since it trines you, you're it's it's helping you. It's it's putting you in a situation, Taurus, so that you're forced to look at what serves you and what doesn't serve you. That's what this is. I really do believe that, Taurus. Let's see what the second card is, Taurus. The Two of Pentacles. Yes, this is about a decision as it relates to money, as it relates to juggling several different things at once. You, I, I believe, Taurus, you believe that you're trapped because you're constantly having to keep things up in the air and keep things moving and going and going and going. And you want it to end. It's like you want to get off of the roller coaster. And this is the two, Taurus. This is your house, the second house. The second house of um, self-value. The money you make from the company you work for. The money you make from the uh, company you own or the business you own. Putting on a show. I mean, I feel for some of you Tauruses, you're under your breath. You're saying something like, is this crap show going to be over anytime soon? I'm tired of, you know, performing like I'm a, I'm a kept pet or I'm, I'm a performing, you know, animal of some sort. It, that's what it feels like to me, Taurus. This might also be needing to make a decision about a trip that you might be taking over water, Taurus. This is the infinity sign. This is the infinity sign. So be aware of that as well. You feel like something is going to last forever, but I just don't feel that, Taurus. You might be performing for somebody, like I said, or you might be juggling two different jobs or two different situations, and you're like, I, I got to find a better way. I got to build a better mousetrap. That's what I heard. I got to build a better mousetrap. Some of you might be having problems with mice. I hope not. All right, what's the third card, Taurus? The Five of Wands. So the Five of Wands is all about competition. The Five of Wands is all about conflict, people not getting along. This is the Five energy. This is the energy of Leo, okay? The Leo did come up with that partnership. I think that that partnership is like your, your calm in the storm. The partnership that we saw at the beginning, that's your calm in the storm. That's where you go to recharge. That's where you go to feel like you're wanted, you're needed, and you're loved. You're in a situation right now, Taurus, where there's a lot of competition in your field. But while everybody else is fighting and everybody else is competing, you're just you're just kind of, eh, everything will turn around eventually. You know, I mean, it's like you've kind of got this lax attitude about it. I'm really feeling that. And I know everybody's seeing something different than what I'm seeing here, but it's as if these uh, these cards are reversed. I'm not feeling it. I'm feeling you might be observing it. I'm not feeling necessarily you going through it. Well, some of you may be going through it. It doesn't feel to me like it's it's something that is surprising you. Just put it that way. But the house of Leo is children, romance, creativity, risk-taking. Maybe you took a risk on something or perhaps children are fighting and you want the children to stop fighting. I'm hearing stop behaving like immature children. It doesn't become you. I, really, Taurus, I think you're the calm in the storm. But let's see what happens here. Fourth card. Oh, there we go. Six of cups. Children. Children. Being arrested. I'm just telling you what I'm seeing, Taurus. Taurus. Children being arrested, um, finding out someone from your past was arrested, or your children feel like they're trapped. They feel like they are mentally incapacitated. They don't like it. They just want to be children again. Freeing the children. Freeing the children. I'm, I am getting so many hits right now. Taurus, I'm kind of going to start to shake, I think. But have you ever heard of a red herring, Taurus? I'm sure you have. 
a red herring was used back in um, back in the day when people were getting chased by hounds and by dogs. They would throw a red herring on the trail so that the dogs would lose the scent. Something's going on here. You're throwing a red herring, Taurus. So you can take care of something over here. You're throwing in a red herring so that they end up over here. So what you're doing over here is not compromised. Whoa, Taurus, what have you got going on? This is also soulmate energy. You may be in a situation right now, Taurus, where, and I'm, I'm hearing that Taurus, man, you must have really had an effect on someone or someone had a, had a really strong effect on you. But there's someone, Taurus, that you believe was your soulmate or they believe you're their soulmate. They're just not letting you go. That's what this is about. And it's causing competition. It's like, man, are you ever just going to go away? You're kind with them. You're loving with them. But it's kind of seriously, you got to go away. I mean, I appreciate all the attention and everything you're giving me, but I've already made my choice. But let's see what's going on here. Maybe you're making your choice now, Taurus. Ah, the Wheel of Fortune. Whatever choice you're making, Taurus, is going to affect you big time. And I think, Taurus, whatever this decision is, uh, to be honest with you, Taurus, <clears throat> I don't think that either decision is wrong. It's just whatever you decide is what is going to go down in the annals of time. It's going to return control to you. Maybe it's related to investigations or study or research. Maybe Egypt is playing a role in here or foreign people in foreign lands. Getting rid of, getting rid of the negative, the plutonic, the nasty, the, the negative Scorpio energy, okay? The stalker energy, the, the revengeful energy, it's like you're, you're putting that in its place. And I'm not saying Scorpios are bad, that's not my point. I'm saying it's the negative energy of Scorpio is what I'm saying, because you've got this six here, and you've got these two, or you've got these three surrounding the children, the soulmate, the decision, the choice, the faded outcome regarding entrapment. Very, very interesting. These... I know this says tarot, taro, taro, isn't taro a vegetable? Anyway, um, some of you might be like eating like root vegetables, <laughs> a lot of vegetables. Maybe you've got more, you're adding more vegetables to your diet. But anyway, um, <clears throat> this is, this is really quite interesting. Any one of these letters may be of significance for you, Tauruses. Someone with the name, the first name, the last name, beginning with T-A-R-R-O. This is a 10 energy. The completion. You making the, the decision, Taurus is going to complete something. And Taurus, what are you doing? This is interesting. What is your sixth card, Taurus? Oh, praise the Lord. Can I get an alleluia? <laughs> Amen. Queen of Pentacles. Whatever decision you're making, Taurus, it puts you in power. You are the one that is in your power. So at the beginning of September, Taurus, you're dealing with some weird stuff here. Uh, people getting thrown into jail needing to juggle, um, needing to get, I feel like there's a lot of things that need to get completed, need to get done. Okay. Like you need to sign off on stuff. All right, Taurus. But as you move in to the latter part of September, I think this is your mate. This could be your soulmate at work, or this could be your soulmate in love, Taurus. The wheel starts moving forward and stability and value is reestablished. This is freaking amazing. 
You know why I love readings like this, Taurus? Because you can, you can see the contrast between the two. You can see how the energy is turning around for you, Taurus. This is amazing. You could be getting a raise. You could be giving a promotion, getting a promotion. More money is in your life. You are nurturing this energy. Look, you're looking back at this. You're saying, hey, thanks for being there for me. I kind of want to cry, Taurus. What the heck's going on with you? Someone really, really is pretty loyal to you, Taurus. After you've been through all this living hell up here, Taurus, you're getting emotional. Or someone around you is getting emotional. Thank you for everything you've done for me. I couldn't have done it without you. I want to reward you for your loyalty. I want, someone might be saying that to you, Taurus. Someone is fiercely loyal to you, Taurus. Fiercely loyal. And as you move towards the end of September, you're going to see exactly how loyal this person is. Taurus, you cannot ask for anything better. Because I think you've been praying for this, Taurus. You, you've had these people in your life that cause conflict and drama and, and make you choose between what you value and, and, and being manipulated and lied to and, and cheated on and, and coerced. Like you're, you're in it. You're in the thick of it, Taurus. But this person right here is your saving grace. They bring the calm in the storm. They're loyal. All of it. They bring you value. You bring them value. You appreciate them. They appreciate you. I am going to title this. Someone is fiercely loyal. And I truly hope that Taurus, this happens in a way for you that is going to knock your socks off. That's what I pray for. All right, Taurus, let, what do we want to clarify? Taurus, I really feel we do have to clarify the Nine of Swords. So let's just go ahead and do that. Of course, all the cards will be clarified in the, um, those fell out. They want me to use all of them. Are you kidding me? Okay, fine. They want me to use all of these to clarify the Nine of Swords. I've never, ever had this happen before. So let's just see what happens. I've had two cards, but never like freaking five. These have to be an appropriate sequence. So just give me a second here, Taurus. Unbelievable. All right, here we go, Taurus. What is the sequence of this Nine of Swords, Taurus? Judgment. Someone is receiving their karma, Taurus. When this is upright, this means that there has been um, karma that has been delivered, either good or bad. But when it is reversed, it's preparing itself to be delivered. It's under the surface. Someone is getting their karma served back to them very soon. It's not happening now, but it will. What's the second card? Unbelievable. The five of wands. Conflict. You have it twice, Taurus. You see the connection now, Taurus? Someone is going to be, I, I'm telling you, Taurus, people are going to be put into jail because of this. Let's keep going, though. What's the third card? The moon reversed. The moon reversed. Deceptions and illusions are also about to be released, revealed. What has been hidden? is the reason someone is going to be sent to jail or is going to be trapped 
in a situation. I feel, Taurus, I don't necessarily feel this is you. I feel this is someone in your life. I really do. What's the fourth card? The lovers. The lovers. The choice. The love. Do you want to stay or do you want to go, Taurus? Are you in a relationship, Taurus? where you're trying to figure out if someone's trying to deceive you? Do you feel trapped in a situation, Taurus? Is the reason why this is about to be exposed to you due to the fact that you should have love in your life? This is sequential. Remember that, Taurus, you may have revealed who you can trust and who you can't trust, and you have finally chosen this one right here. I need to make a choice. And my choice is to regain control in my life by partnering with someone who is a soulmate and brings me stability. Because this is where I've been. And it's so interesting, Taurus. If you are picking someone, if you are in a situation, whether it's love, uh, work, whatever, Someone is watching. A jealous ex, maybe. Remember, you do have this scorpionic energy here. So interesting, if you think about it. This is the six, and this is the six. This is soulmate energy, Taurus. Someone is fiercely loyal, and that is where I'm going to end it. Please consider getting a subscription to my uh, website, a membership to my website, and you can access the extended. And let's see what else we got coming up here. I wish you the best, Taurus. Much light, much love, and many blessings. Namaste.